Prior to its association with NASA, the Omega Watch Company had already made a name for itself in other industries. Known for quality and precision timing, Omega was named the official watch of the 1932 Olympics and could also be found setting underwater records in the depths of the ocean. When NASA needed a certified watch for space, it sent out proposals to several watch companies, including Omega. NASA's guidelines were rigid. It had to be durable, stable, able to withstand temperature variations, and of course, be worn on the wrist. The Omega was the only one to pass all of the tests. While the Omega Speedmaster became known as the Space Watch, it wasn't until 1969, when it went to the moon, that it became forever known as the Moon Watch. Astronaut Gene Cernan called the Omega his security blanket, viewing it as his attachment to the real world that he had left behind while on the moon during the Apollo 17 mission. The watch was always considered a backup to the spacecraft systems, but wound up playing a vital role in the Apollo 13 mission. After the explosion in the service module, the spacecraft systems had to be shut down to conserve power. The Omega Speedmaster was used to time a mid-course engine burn to ensure that the spacecraft could safely re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. For its role in returning Apollo 13 home safely, Omega received the coveted Silver Snoopy Award in October 1970. Omega continues to play a role in the American and Russian space program and can currently be found on the International Space Station. Okay, we did it.